Hi everyone, I'm Yana Smokula and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to give you an updated tour of my craft room. Now, my craft room is actually a craft corner that's situated in our bedroom. So on the other side of the camera, that's where all the bedroom furniture is. So I don't have a dedicated um, craft room, but I do have a corner that works for me. Now, my craft room um, furniture mostly consists of pieces that I uh, picked up from Ikea over the years. And um, a few months ago, I shared a video. A few months ago, when I moved back to Ukraine, I shared a video of the things that I had. And I mentioned that I plan to go to Ikea and pick up a few more pieces to update my craft room. So that trip uh, happened last weekend. I picked up a few more pieces. I've, I've updated my craft room. I reorganized it. And now I'm happy to share it with you guys. So behind me, I have a Calyx workstation. Um, super old, but it still works for me. I really like how large the desk is. Now, I was lacking some sort of organizing space solution on the wall here. So when I saw these new peg walls from Ikea, I knew that I had to have them. So I picked up two and you have the option to mount them onto the wall or to attach them onto your desk. I'm not sure if you can see this or here, but I have two attachments uh, for each peg wall. So I, I have them attached onto my desk. So they're not actually attached onto the wall. And if I want to move this workstation, my pad wall is going to move with it. So I think that's really cool and that's really smart because, you know, I don't have to put holes in the wall and I can move it however, uh, however I like. Um, there are lots of different things that you can attach onto your pad wall. Let me get the chair out of the way. So lots of different things that you can attach onto the pad wall and you can configure it the way you like. I've picked up pretty much every piece that I had. Mm, except for, I think, two or three pieces that are more suited towards the kitchen organization. So I have a bunch of shelves, so in these, like, everything is removable and you can organize it however you like. So I have three of those shelves, and the shelves are metal, and what I found is one shelf, just to give you an idea of the size of the shelf, the shelf can hold three rows of Nuvo drops. So I have one, two, three rows, or if you have a similar size bottle, that's how much stuff you could put onto each shelf. And then over here, I have my Nuvo embellishment mousses sitting on the side. So it's like a nice pop of color for me. And when I was putting this together, I was kind of trying to make it into an inspiring space. I wanted this to be um, eye-catching. I wanted this to be an eye candy. I wanted this to be something, you know, pretty and fun to look at. And then uh, here I have another shelf where I have my uh, Hero Arts liquid watercolors, some more Nuvo drops, and then um, some reinkers and things like that. So these are the shelves, so I have three, plenty for me. Maybe if I had a fourth one, it, I I'm pretty sure I would have found some stuff to put on it, but three works. Then I have these little cups. Again, they are removable and I can organize them however I like. Let me put this one back. Um, so here I have my Nuvo Aquaflow pens, and then here I have my Nuvo um, brushes, I have my tool-in-one, some other brushes, so little things. Then here I have my white pen, um, some spray ink and things like that, and then here I have my Copic rate ink curve. So basically anything in the form of a pen, you can put it in a cups like that. Then also at the bottom over here, and this is not attached onto the wall, I just have it sitting over there in the corner. So I have my uh, polychromos fiber castell pencils sitting in this little um, container. And this container can also be hooked onto the wall. So you can you see there's this little thing at the top. Uh, and that's, that's how I have this container attached onto the wall. So it, it basically has the same um, attachment type thingy. So you can just attach it onto the wall. So this is basically not a part of the peg wall system, but I found that it kind of works for me. I do have two more of those over here on my Rascot card, and they just attach super easily. Um, and I use one to keep my Spellbinders dies that I currently work with, and then the other one I will keep it uh, for like a little a little trash can if I need to sharpen my pencils so I can like put little bits and pieces um, in there. So that's that. Uh, also, I have other things on my tag wall, obviously. 
so here's this one. I think this is like for a paper towel. Um, I have not really found a good use for it yet for my desk. Um, you can see I put some washi tapes and I need to find the rest of my washi tapes to put here. And I've been just like pulling and tearing it to use. So that could, that's been working out for me just fine. Here's another um, set of sort of like hooks. And I think you can put something that's large across. So like so, but I found that um, I like these longer hooks for my masking paper and then I can put my um, double-sided adhesive. I do have smaller hooks all over my pegboard, so here's one. And I have a few more on, on the other side over here and I'm just like putting little bits and pieces like, you know, double-sided tape, foam adhesive. Um, I also have my micro pour tape in here, things like that. I also have this thingy, this one, and um, I've been storing my Misty here just so that it, it sits on the wall and uh, it's kind of been useful for me. Uh, finally, two more pieces that I have here are these little clips and I've decided I'm just going to use them to attach any cards that I have um, that I find to be pretty. And then here at the top I have this little bucket where I keep my charts. Um, so I have my Polychromos pencil chart, I have my um, Copic marker pencil chart, and maybe over time I'll add something else to it. So that's that, and then I adhere to a card just to make it pretty. Also on my desk I've added this little container, this is also from Ikea, and I basically just pre-cut my white and colored cardstock into half a letter sheets and then quarter of a letter sheets just so that I can easily use them uh, for a card. So if I, if I need to make a card base I just pull uh, half a sheet of a half a letter sheet, I score it and I have my card base ready. I also have more cardstock pre-cut in an identical container sitting over here. And this is basically just the stuff that I could not fit into that container because as you can see it's it's pretty much full. So I have some white paper pre-cut that I can just pull and use on a card when needed. So this is the top of this card. And sorry guys I'm like jumping back and forth but I want to keep it, I don't know, consistent or something. Um, so basically, the, the top of this card contains the paper that I use most often. Okay, moving on. So here, uh, I mentioned in my previous video that the Calyx unit is not very uh, functional for me. Like, I don't like all of that space in there. I don't utilize it. I don't use it all. So I, I was trying to look, I tried to look for some sort of containers to, um, you know, put things in. So I picked up these two containers. Oh, these are my color uh, little printed cards that I actually keep here with my Misty, just so that it looks pretty. So I picked up these two containers. And I have nothing in here so far. I, I have not decided what to put in. Here, this one I'm using for my ink blending tools, for spare ink blending foams, and then for little ink dubbers. So it just sits all like that. I do close it sometimes, but I found recently I've been doing a lot of ink blending, so I just kept it open. And then there's nothing else in there, so it's just, just that. Then I do have, or I should say I do not have a proper system to store my Copic markers, so I purchased this. Let me get it out. So I purchased this like little organization cubby, I guess you call it, for the desk. And I found that like my Copic markers fit really nicely in here. And I like my Copics to lay horizontally, I don't like them to sit vertically. So I just store it like so on my desk or I can put it vertically if I'm running out of space and that works for me. And I also like this storage system because I can move this, oh that, that's my phone. And I can also, uh, I also like this storage system because I can move it around and, you know, if, if I want color in the kitchen, I can take it with me to the kitchen. And the same goes for the pencils. Like, I like my coloring medium uh, supplies to be movable so that I can take them with me whenever I go and have them ready. So this, uh, this is still empty. I have not put anything in there. I'm yet to organize that. And this is just sitting here at the top of my Calyx unit. And... The Copic markers are usually here. Okay, this I cannot show you guys yet because that's some new products from Spellbinders that I'm working on. This is the cord from my camera and usually I have a tripod sitting here and that's how I work. 
Um, I do remove it from from time to time. Like for instance, for this video, I, I figured I might as well remove it because there's no point of having it here. But that's basically the cord that hooks up to my camera um, so that the battery doesn't die. Uh, I have a large mat on my desk and then also when I film I have another mat from Spellbinders that I put on top because this one is kind of old and yucky so I like to use my new Spellbinders mat for that. Here I have some Copic markers and some other supplies out. I don't usually have them out but they are out simply because I'm working on some projects and I need to remember what colors of markers I'm using and also what colors of pencils I'm using so that's that. And the same goes for the ink pads that I have out. Okay, let's go here. Another uh, thing that I purchased from Ikea is the Alex unit, the Alex drawer unit, and I'm loving it. So I love the space here at the top. I'm using it for my platinum machine and I can easily just die cut anything I want. Um, I, have my, I have a painting in the back, I have a little vase with artificial flowers, so it's like a nice and pretty space. I also have my heat tool here, so that works. And then all of these drawers hold my ink, some embossing powders, and some other tools. I've purchased some dividers for these shelves, or for these drawers, excuse me. And I think this is this particular divider is for one of their one of the IKEA's large um, like storage cubes. I didn't buy the storage cube. I just wanted this like topper to put into a, into a drawer and organize like the bits and pieces. So like I have my foam adhesive, then I have some like other bits and pieces. I have my sequins from Pretty Bing Posh, more Pretty Bing Posh, Hero Arts. Then I have my Simon Says Stamp. Then I have my um, mini wobbles, googly eyes, pencil sharpeners. And then here I also keep my scissors and my crystal katana tool. And then there's my stamp chamois and like some other enamel embellishments. Oh, and also this one here, I have my tonic easy clean mat, but for some reason it's not here. Anyhow, that, that's where I keep it. So that's the packaging, but I also keep the mat in here. I probably put it elsewhere. Okay, and I'm still getting used to like the, lay the layout. I'm, I still don't remember where everything is. So here's my second drawer, and this, I think this is like the organizer for a closet, but it worked perfectly for this drawer. So here I have my embossing powders, and I've uh, tried to organize them so that I can see, basically, uh, so that I can see the, uh, the color. So here I have the sticker on the top that says copper, brass, or you know, clear. And then those embossing powders that do not have a sticker on the top, I just lay them on the side so that I can see whatever color it is. And then I have some other embossing powders, some glitters, other things. Um, twine, rarely use it, but I do like it because it's so pretty. I have my cutters. I use these to cut um, dies that are connected. Then here I also have my most used inks um, and my embossing powder thingy in a bag and then here I have my clear blocks uh, in this other compartment. So seriously like I'm, I'm very happy about this particular drawer because I like how this um, organizer keeps things separated and I don't have a big mess in the drawer. That's that. Then here I have my uh, Simon Sessium ink pads and I do store them um, one ink pad on top of the other. Um, that I, I don't see all the ink pads this way, but it's not a problem for me to like go through uh, these stacks of ink pads and find the particular ink pad I have. Again, because I don't have a ton of space, that's the solution that works for me. I'd love to have um, like a wall storage system where you can put each ink pad like in its own little compartment, but I don't have that at the moment. So that's uh, what works for me. Here I have my Hero Arts ink pads. And these I've sort of divided into like regular colors and then the ombre ink pads. And you guys know me, I love to use the ombre ink pads. Okay, then here I have other ink pads. I have my Avery L ink pads. I have Nuvo uh, Glimmer Paste. I have my Distress inks, uh, some Distress Oxide inks, some more Nuvo embellishment mousse that didn't fit into the little shelf on my pegboard. And then just some tools and things like that. So it's just like, it's one of my less, less used drawers, but uh, I still want to keep these inks handy, so that's the drawer that I dedicated to those. And then the very bottom drawer is where I keep my most used tools. So I have my tonic trimmer, I have my scoring board, I have 
have my Tim Holtz platform. So I have some stamps in there. I have my um, watercolor palettes. So this is my Schmincke palette. And then I have my Daniel Smith in here. And then this is just basically a container from my Fiber Castell Polychromos pencils. But like I mentioned, I took them out and I put them in the little um, bucket on my desk. And then also here I have like spare plates for my Spellbinders Platinum machine. Um, I have found this layout, this system to be super helpful for me and it's it's really nice and organized. Let me explain why. I'm just going to put the uh, put the chair back. So when I'm sitting at my desk and uh, I'm left-handed so that's something to consider. I have everything I need on my left hand side so I can just turn and get all the sequins or I can turn, open the drawer and get all the embossing patterns. Or if I need my uh, cutting, uh, or if I, uh, excuse me, if I need my trimmer or my stamp platform, they're all here and I can easily reach to them without having to get up and walk um, somewhere. So this, this sort of like an L-shaped, it is kind of an L-shaped, yeah, this L-shaped, um, layout or design is very helpful for me. It's very useful. Like I feel like I have everything under control. I have everything under my hand. I don't need to get up, go somewhere to pick things up. Uh, also here I have my rest cup card, like I mentioned previously. And basically this is just storing my papers. So pre-cut papers, the little buckets for the dyes, little trash bucket, I guess. Then here I have my uh, Strathmore tone gray paper that I like to use for my pencil coloring. And then here at the top, I have more of my Nina paper, and these, these also come from Ikea. And then this very bottom container holds my um, fun foam and things like that. <clears throat> and then also I've attached a little hook um, on the side here, and I hang my purse, because like I said, that's our bedroom. That's where I keep the rest of my things. Uh, another thing that I have here, that's my other unit from Ikea that I mentioned in my previous video. And this is where I store all of my stamps and they fit so perfectly and so nicely in here. What I found, um, because this, this unit is sort of, you can say it's kind of far from my desk. So what I do, if I need to work like with my, if, if I want to play with my Sam and Sis stamp stamps, I just take the entire drawer and I put it on my desk and I play with it. And then when I'm done, I just put it back. So here at the top, for example, I have my spell binders. When I'm playing with those, I just take the drawer, put it on my desk, play with them, and then when I'm done, I return it here. So this is the system that works for me. Um, also, I have my recollections units here. I'm not using these anymore. I do need to take the stuff out. I still have some sequins in here at the bottom that I need to organize. Um, so I just need to take, the, take it out and move it onto my everyday workspace. So I'm actually going to be um, either moving this out of the bedroom or getting rid of these uh, two cubes, I'm not entirely sure. Another thing I wanted to mention that I picked up from Ikea is um, like this floor protector, I guess. Like I've really wanted something to protect the floor and they have like these clear mats that you can pick up and you just lay them on your floor and they're clear. So if you have a nice carpet under your desk, you can, you'll still be able to see the carpet, but it'll, it will be protected. So I think that's it. Um, thanks guys for joining this video. I hope you liked my tour of my craft corner of, or of my craft room. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.